Let's unbox it. All right, enough of that ASMR. I'm gonna unbox it. I already know what it is, but... Oh gosh, I can't. I'm opening the box backwards because it has my address on the other side. Woohoo! Okay, thank you Fujifilm. Wow! This is their new film. Oh. Guys, this is the Instax Mini 40. Yay! I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing now for you guys. Let's do it. There's a little camera strap. Okay, and there's batteries in here as well. Pretty much it. This is the user manual. Exposure light sensor and the flashlight sensor. Okay, so it takes the AA batteries this time instead of a CR2 battery, which is actually a little bit harder to get, so I really like how it's a AA battery. Wow, it feels good in the hand. It has like a faux leathery, leathery feel to it, so it feels like a vintage camera. How do I like this? Okay, so that's how you open it. This battery is specifically LR6 because I think Fujifilm prefers LR6 batteries. Oh, I push this button to turn it on. Okay, doesn't have that like um, twisty thing. Oops. So I'm gonna have to... Okay, so if you pull this out, it has like a little selfie mode. There's no tripod mount, but I've gotten used to that. So, and there's not many functions on it either. Like, I think you just literally point and shoot on it. So here's a fake photo. Let's go try it out, guys. Welcome to the testing portion of this video and today's location is Ikea and you guys all know I have a very unhealthy obsession with Ikea. We will be going around taking art photos, no not her, or Van Gogh's vase of flowers or Starry Night and these Monet water lilies. We will be going around taking photos in these little showrooms. Yes, I know, random, right? But I honestly think that each one of these showrooms is like a little piece of art and whenever I walk through Ikea, I feel like it's an art museum. So let's go take photos. So this was a total experiment. I just figured maybe the lens isn't open because it's automatic, but it turns out it's not. And my photo is all white. This was on purpose. I didn't do it by accident or anything. I totally did it on purpose. Okay, that should work. I love the wallpaper in the showroom, so I just thought maybe I should just take a photo with the fake flowers and the wallpaper. It turned out cute. And for this photo, I thought it would be really cool to take a picture of these fake windows, but because of the automatic flashes, it just looks like a painting or a photo on the wall. So I was walking around Ikea and I had this brilliant idea of leaving this camera on random shelves on the wall. And I've gotta say, it looks pretty good. Like it blends in well with the decor and it just makes the showroom a little bit nicer. Yeah, looks cute. There's a lot of things in Ikea that looks like an art exhibit. For example, these circular lampshades that are hanging from the ceiling. They look like circular clouds. Um, I really like it when I took it on film. It has like this darker shape to it. Wait a minute, is that my Instax Mini 40 on a shelf at Ikea? Why, yes it is. I wonder who left it there. 
The marketplace downstairs also has a ton of cool things. For example, these brushes and this just looks so cool. It looks like abstract art when I took a photo of it. Okay, I was trying to take a photo of three ice cream cups and it turned out blurry and overexposed. I don't recommend putting your camera way too close up to the subject. And finally, I just love these artisan rugs. They're so beautiful. So after going to Ikea, we actually went to a Korean restaurant where I saved my last photo to take and it turns out the lens didn't open all the way. So my picture turned out all black and I was just very sad that night. So what I just recommend doing is just make sure your lens is open all the way before you take a photo because it's such a waste of film. Oh my gosh. So this is on another day where I took the camera to a lake and we took some very low light photos. Um, my camera just happens to pick up the images a lot better than this Fujifilm Instax Mini 40, but it was actually really dark out. As you can tell, the photos turned out really dark and you can't even see the bike. In this photo, I was trying to capture the two ducks, but um, it focused on the rock mainly. I mean, it's low light, so I don't expect too much, but yeah, it focused on the rock instead. And I was just trying to take a photo of the ripples in the water, but you can't even see that. But on this one, you can see the ripples. Not too much, but you can still see it. Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the camera that we were playing with, the Instax Mini 40. Lovely camera, I love the ergonomics of this camera. It's just very like easy to use and handle. I love how the on and off button is conveniently placed where my forefinger would be naturally at when I hold the camera. It just makes it really easy for me to take photos of unexpected moments. I can just pop this guy out and bam, and I can just take a photo of things that are, I don't know, like a bird catching a turtle or I have no idea, okay? Just things that are most random and most unexpected. It just like pops right out and then when you're done, you just push it back in, which I find that really nice and you don't have to like push a button and then wait, all, wait for all the mechanisms of the camera to like wind it back in. You just literally pop it in and out, pop it in and out. One thing though that I must mention is that Sometimes when you turn this guy on, this lens cover right here doesn't turn like open all the way and I don't know why that is. I tested it out in one of the instances at Ikea and I was just like, well maybe, how about I just not like this thing, just not let it open at all and see if when I push the shutter button, if the thing will just open automatically all by itself. Well the camera is on, it's not off, but this lens cover is just closed so I just push the shutter button. Well, it didn't take a picture of anything. The lens was closed, so yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work, guys. So you have to make sure this guy is open all the way. So yeah, just pull it out like that. And then I thought this part right here where it says selfie mode, like I thought it was already on selfie mode this whole time and every photo I was taking, even landscape photos, I was like, why is it always on selfie mode? Like it's gonna be so blurry but then to my surprise every time i took a photo of a landscape picture every time i took a photo of a landscape this was very sharp like it was the photos turned out really good and i was like what i was so confused but then i realized you just have to pull it out more for it to be at selfie mode and selfie mode guys is on point really really good it, even in low light settings yeah really great moving back to the design of the camera i love the design it has like this faux leathery feel which gives it nice vintage vibes which i am all about guys this camera literally looked good everywhere at ikea for some reason I, okay so i was just i was just very curious and i just put these this camera on like random shelves at ikea and it just like blends in with the decor and it looked so good so yeah this is it makes a great decor and um, it's also a really great camera. Okay, as you guys can tell, there's no other function on here other than like 
the, the shutter button and the reason being is because everything is automatic and it's all by these sensors right here because this camera is automatic there's no manual functions on this camera so you can't turn off the flash you can't do light dark exposure you can't do double exposure you can't do um self timer um i think this camera is targeting more for like novice photographers people i don't know for like kids and people who just don't really mind about manual functionalities they just want good photos and they just want to take like a picture you know um it's a great camera just not for f professional people who want to be able to control more into their camera okay so i tried to take some photos in low light settings actually it was like almost dark at night um, at the time when I went to the lake so those pictures turned out pretty well I just have to say it just has a hard time focusing thing on things but during the daytime it doesn't have a problem focusing on subjects far away it's just the nighttime it's just the background just kind of look I don't know how to say it like squiggly um, just less focused like even my face on one of the photos was like <laughs> Yeah, but it's not bad. Like, my face wasn't even beautiful. I know, like, in low light settings, cameras tend to have a harder time when you take photos in low light settings. So, this one did pretty well. In selfie mode, this selfie mode white thing right here, that's when it's on selfie mode. This is not selfie mode. This is selfie mode. When it's on selfie mode and when things are within arm's length like this, everything right here like your you the subject and like your friend your family your dog everything is super focused on it just looks very sharp and um focused and clear overall i think this is a great camera for beginners or novice photographers or just people who just want a good photo and don't have to think so much about settings and stuff like that because i know sometimes settings can be overwhelming and just too much to handle so this camera is perfect for those of you who just don't care um, about settings and you just want to point and shoot it's a great point and shoot camera for those of you who just want that but for professional photographers people who want to have a little bit more control on their camera um, you probably want to invest in something like the Instax Mini 90 or the Instax Mini 70 those have more control but then again the technology is a little bit different because this is the newest model in Fujifilm Instax I just think the lens and the shutter is just a little bit better than the Instax Mini 90 and 70, but I could be wrong. Maybe I should do a little testing of those models. What do you guys think? Let me know. Professional photographers, you probably want to get one of those. Beginners, this is the camera for you. Great point and shoot camera. Love the vintage vibes. Love how it's more fashion forward, or should I say fashion backwards because it's vintage, but I don't know. Thank you so much you guys for watching this video and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little review and if you guys want me to review this some more, please let me know. I will do that and um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Adios!